Normal body cells, or somatic cells, are diploid. And diploid is the term used to describe the nucleus of a cell or an organism which has twice or double the haploid number of chromosomes. Therefore, haploid means half, but we'll come back to this later. So, a diploid cell, which is any somatic, i.e. body cell, of an animal, is designated as 2n. Why 2n? Well, 2 represents the two sets of inherited chromosomes. One set of maternal chromosomes and one set of paternal chromosomes. Also, different organisms have a different diploid number, but all diploid organisms are referred to as 2n. For example, we know that humans, homo sapiens, are diploid organisms, 2n, since we have inherited one set of chromosomes from our mother and one set of chromosomes from our father, resulting in the homologous pair of chromosomes. Each homologous pair is designated a number, i.e. chromosome number 1, number 2, number 3, number 4, etc. And each chromosome contains the genes for particular traits. And since we have homologous pairs of chromosomes, each specific gene can have some variation in the phenotypic expression of a particular trait. These different versions of genes are known as alleles. So, altogether, a human body cell, a somatic cell, will contain 2n chromosomes, or more specifically, 23 pairs of chromosomes. 23 chromosomes inherited from the father and 23 inherited from the mother, to give us a diploid chromosomal number of 46. So the diploid number, 2n, of Homo sapiens is 46. Well, grizzly bears are diploid too, so we say that the diploid number of a grizzly bear is 2n. But more specifically, grizzlies, Ursus arctos, have a diploid number of 74, inheriting 37 paternal chromosomes and 37 maternal chromosomes. And Jaws, the great white shark, Carcharodon carcharius, they are diploid organisms, and their diploid number is 82. But what about the Lion King, Panthera Leo? Well, their diploid number, 2n, equals 38. And here's one final example. This is a mosquito, the yellow fever mosquito, Aedes aegypti. And this particular species has a diploid, 2n, chromosomal number of just 6. That's right, just 3 paternal chromosomes and 3 maternal chromosomes are inherited to give this little mosquito 3 homologous pairs, which is, of course, or six chromosomes in total, the diploid number, or as we know it, 2n. So why do we need to know any of this? Well, it's actually much easier for us to use 2n and refer generally to the diploid number when communicating about species and their life cycles, for example, rather than having to state the actual number of chromosomes a particular species contains each time we discuss them. And of course, you could be asked about any diploid organism in the exams, usually involving their life cycles and recognition of where mitosis and meiosis take place, which we'll cover in the next few lessons. So, diploid organisms have somatic cells, body cells, that contain 2n chromosomes. Which means haploid is the term we've given to describe the chromosomal number of sex cells, the gametes. Haploid means half, and literally means half of the diploid number. Sex cells, eggs and sperm, are haploid, which we designate as n, which means eggs and sperm contain half of the diploid chromosomal number half of the genetic information. But, of course, through sexual recombination, fertilization, the diploid number is restored. And let's not forget that the formation of haploid sex cells is of super importance in increasing genetic variation within a species. And, of course, haploid cells are created in their own unique way. And that is the process of meiosis.